Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you what is the use of don't report property on the exception handler class. So let's get started. First of all, let me create my own exception. So here I'll say PHP artisan make exception my own custom exception and it is added inside this app exceptions folder and the file name is my custom exception here. Now let's say protected message my own custom message. Now in the web.php I have this home controller inside let us throw that exception manually but in the real world scenario if something goes wrong then only you will throw the exceptions. So here let's say throw new my own custom exception like this. Now here in the laratips.test if I reload then it will actually show this message my own custom message which is actually coming from this my own custom exception class message property. So after we encountered with an exception or error something is logged to the laravel.log file which is inside this storage logs folder and you can see here my own custom message which is same as that of this one so you can see a message over here and this is not for this custom exception only for any kind of exception you will see a log of all the stack traces over here and here comes the use of that don't report property so let us go to handler which is inside this app exceptions folder over here and here is this protected don't report property. So here we have to write the name of the class. Let's say my own custom exception and class like this. Let me go over here in the Laravel log, remove everything that is present over here. Let me again come here and reload. Then you'll still be able to see the message and where that error is occurring, but it will not log that message over here. This will keep your log file very very clean and you'll have log of only those errors that you wanted.